Have you ever felt that Kaizen implementation has got stuck in your company? Or do you think that a new technology is required to improve your productivity or quality? Or do you want a low cost approach for implementing a Kaizen? If your answer is yes, then you have landed in the correct video. Come, let's discuss in detail. Welcome to Lean Factory. I am Pranav, a trusted lean manufacturing consultant. We have created a new initiative. We will be questioning you at the end of every video and the person who answers every questions of our videos will be receiving gift from us at the end of the month. Winner of June 23 is Mr. Santosh Kumar. Congrats Santosh on receiving the gift. Keep it up. There are some misconceptions about Kaizen's. What are they? New technology or machines are required. High cost is required for implementing the Kaizen's. Kaizen uh, is only improving productivity. Kaizen means only big improvement. But Kaizen is not that actually. What Kaizen is? Okay. Kaizen is a low cost approach. It is using your common sense. It is following your self discipline and it is incremental improvements. There are two things which we have to do before starting Kaizen's. One is go to Gemba. What is Gemba? Gemba is the real workplace with in Japanese. And second thing is observe the activities which are happening in the Gemba. And based on that, there are three important rules which we have to follow during a Kaizen implementation. They are standardization, muda elimination and housekeeping. Rule one, standardization. What is standardization? Maintaining an improvement is called a standardization. So once a improvement is being implemented, so we have to standardize the improvement. So we can use SDCA cycle to implement this standardization. What is SDCA? It is similar to the PDCA cycle, which means so SDCA refer, refers to standardize, do, check and act. So PDCA and SDCA go hand in hand when implementing cases. Here are some tips for standardization. You can create or display SOPs and work instructions in your shop floor. Uh, you can use visual indicators for better understanding for the people in the shop floor. You can train the employees on the standards which is being implemented. You can do periodic ad audits and share the feedback to the shop floor team. Rule 2 is Muda elimination. What is Muda? Muda is waste in Japanese. So the activities which do not add any value to the work which is being done is called as a waste or a non-value added activity. There are seven types of non-value added activities or waste in the manufacturing. They are transportation, inventory, motion, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing and finally defects. You can check the video of the seven waste of manufacturing given the links in the description. Some recommended ways to reduce muda. We can create continuous flow. We can reduce the WIP or implement controlled inventory. We can practice fibers in the shop floor. We can implement Heijunka, which is nothing but load leveling and we can pursue the quality problem solving. Third rule is a good housekeeping. A good housekeeping can be followed by implementing 5S. 5S is nothing but 5 steps which will impact your culture better to have a clean, safe, systemized workplace. They are nothing but sort, set in order, shine, standardize and sustain. Some suggestions to implement 5S. Divide your company into multiple zones. You can create an Apex team to implement this 5S initiatives. First, go with the pilot zone where you can implement all the S that is 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S and 5S and analyze the results. Based on the results, you can horizontally deploy the activities on the other zones. This is the best way to implement the 5S. So these are the three rules, the standardization, the muda elimination and housekeeping are the ground rules which you have to follow while implementing the Kaizen. Hope you like this video. You can like, comment and share this video to your friends, family and your office mates. Subscribe to Lean Factory and click the no bell notification. If you want to learn more about Lean, we have a free course called Lean Champion Course which is a 7 day program with certification. It deals with the basics of Lean Manufacturing like value stream mapping and fibers. It's a free course, you can enroll to that. If you want to understand deep about Lean, you can consider enrolling our Lean Master Course which is at Rs 9.99. You have an in-depth learning about lean concepts in that lean, lean master course. If you are a new person to a manufacturing industry or if you are like two years or three years experienced in your manufacturing 
company you can consider joining our manufacturing leadership program which is at rupees 999 if you are with 2 years or 3 years of experience in shop floor you can consider enrolling our manufacturing leadership programs it deals with 17 topics related to your shop floor activities like production quality maintenance uh, some uh, telephone etiquette soft skills excel tips and powerpoint tips which will improve your shop floor managerial activities okay question time case and request a lot of investment in technology is it true or false looking for your answer in the comment sections thank you let's see in the next video